Welcome to tab two. So in this segment, we're going to take a look at watch list rules. So this is where we actually tell the robotic trader what stocks we want to trade uh, or we build rules into a strategy and let the robotic trader go and find the stocks based on the rules. So let's go ahead and we're going to start off with my portfolio. So let's say that you had a handful of stocks that you wanted to trade. So let's say Microsoft, Intel, HPQ, GE, Cisco, Bank of America, and Alcoa. Those are the ones that are in here for simulating and demonstration purposes. So let's say that we want to take out Alcoa. So we just remove that and then what we do is uh, we look up here. This is our watch list so you can see Alcoa, Bank of America, Cisco, GE, HPQ, Intel, and Microsoft. And uh, let's say we want that one removed. So we took it out of the box here and we just click verify symbol and you will see that we just remove that one here. Now let's say that we want to add a symbol into my portfolio. So let's go ahead and put KO in there, which is Coca-Cola. And we'll go ahead and click verify symbol. And you will see up in the watch list, we have KO here. So that was added in there. So it's very simple. A lot of folks have a handful of stocks that they just want to trade. And you would just use my portfolio to build uh, your portfolio of stocks you want the robotic trader to focus on. So I'm just going to put that back here. On this particular strategy, it's just focusing on Dow 30 stocks that are less than uh, $30. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple things down here. If you notice, uh, we've got this box checks, which, which says, add my portfolio to the watch list. Then you will see another box that says add my symbol files to the watch list. That one's not checked, uh, but the next one is, which is use my portfolio or symbol files only. So you'll see that that one is checked. When those two boxes are checked, the robotic trader knows that you just want to trade these symbols that are in your portfolio. So that's how you go ahead and enter the stocks that you want to trade. If you have your own stocks and your own ideas that you just want to focus on, you want the robotic trader to focus on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to enter rules to build a particular strategy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uncheck this box here and you will see that uh, we have the exchanges up here so let's just talk about these so exchanges we've got the MX the NASDAQ and the NYSE you'll also see that we have Australia Hong Kong India Singapore and Toronto so you can only trade one exchange at a time and if you're going to trade uh, these foreign exchanges you would need an account with interactive brokers interactive brokers is the only broker partner that will support uh, these particular exchanges when using cool trade so you will also see that we have Forex here and there's a lot of folks uh, that want to trade currency and we will cover that in a separate training video so we won't cover that today now uh, you can see we've got these three exchanges checked and then down below you will see sectors so in the sectors five um, under sectors you will see select all uh, Dow 30 Nasdaq 100 S&P 100 you've got basic materials conglomerates uh, consumer goods, financials, healthcare, industrial goods, services, technology, utilities. So if you want to put a check mark next to any one of these boxes and focus on a particular sector, you can. So let's just look at that quick. So if I uncheck the NASDAQ 100 and the S&P 100 and just have the Dow 30 checked, then you will see that we, um, let's go ahead and delete this rule here you will see that we have 30 stocks and they're all listed right over here. 
Now let's let's take a look at a couple of rules. Let's go ahead and add a rule in here and I'll show you how to do this. And we're going to start off with some basic rules and in additional trainings we'll get into some more advanced rule building with you. But let's go ahead and say that we just want to look at let's say yesterday's close price is less than uh, let's say $30 and we'll go ahead and add that rule. So now you can see that the robotic trader very quickly uh, gave us a list of stocks that are less than $30. Pfizer, Microsoft, Intel, HPQ, uh, General Electric, Cisco, Bank of America, and Alcoa. And you can see the number of stocks is listed right here. Now let's say that we want to add in the NASDAQ 100. Very quickly, the robotic trader processes this rule and uh, you know, quickly looks through the Dow 30 and the NASDAQ 100 and gives us back 31 stocks. Now let's say that we want to add the S&P 100 into, into there. Now we've got 42 stocks. So let's go ahead and add another rule. Let's say 42 is too many and we want to add another rule to cut that down. So let's go ahead and say yesterday's close price is greater than 20. So then we just look on this yellow bar here to make sure that the rule is exactly what we want. And it says yesterday's close price is greater than $20. And we click add rule. So now you will see the robotic trader went from 42 stocks between the Dow 30, the NASDAQ 100, and the S&P 100 down to just 19. And they're listed right over here. So GE, Cisco, uh, you can see those uh, stocks listed over here. So let's say that that's still too many and let's say that we want to add a rule in here that says yesterday's volume is greater than let's say 3 million shares. And we'll go ahead and add rule. You can see we just cut off another four stocks. So those were eliminated and the robotic trader is following that rule perfectly. Now let's say that we want to find some stocks that are moving around. So let's say that we want to identify stocks that are moving at least 50 cents a day. So what we can do, and over, over here in the indicator box, we can just use the up and down arrows, but let's go ahead and use what's called the average true range. And we're gonna have some classes available which will explain all of the indicators and uh, what they're used for, which will be very beneficial to those of you that wanna build your own strategies that are new to trading. So average true range, and uh, we're gonna say greater than 0.5, which uh, is 50 cents. So average true range is greater than $0.5, so that's 50 cents. Let's go ahead and add that rule. Now we just identified five stocks, which are GM, HIG, HPQ. So we've got MS and PTEN. So now we've got five stocks that are moving at least 50 cents a day, and we've got at least 3 million shares a day. And we've got uh, stocks between 20 and $30. So we could focus in on those particular opportunities if that's what you want to do. So let's go ahead and just for fun, click select all. Now we've got 25 stocks out of 7,800. And you can see how quickly the robotic trader was able to process uh, these rules and that information. And it quickly gave us 25 stocks, uh, you know, once it applied those rules to 7,800 stocks and it gave us 25 back. So let's go ahead and uh, add another rule. Let's, let's say that we want to find stocks. Um, yesterday's close price and let's say let's say that yesterday's close price is 20 percent less than and let's go ahead and click in this other box over here and I'm going to go ahead and hit the letter H highest price during the previous 
200 days. So now we see yesterday's close price is at least 20% less than the highest price during the previous 200 days. Let's go ahead and add that rule and just see what happens. Okay, now we've got seven stocks, which are listed over here, which meet our volume requirements between 20 and $30 that are moving at least 50 cents a day. And uh, they're at least 20% less than the highest price during the previous 200 days. So now we've just identified out of 7,800 stocks, uh, seven symbols that we can focus in on. And this is just an example of uh, different rules that you can build. You can really do anything that you want with the auto trader. There's over 500 indicators. So just to talk to you about a couple of them. So you've got volume in here. So you could use 200 day average volume as an indicator. You've got your exponential moving averages and there'll be another course which will explain the EMA and the SMA. The SMA is the simple moving average and uh, that'll talk about how to use those indicators. Uh, you know, lowest price, uh, days since the lowest price, number of days, highest price during the previous, you know, 200 days. So I just want to show you to give you an idea of what you have to work with. And you can use these variables to, to build pretty sophisticated strategies. And I'm just going to click through here. Highest price, lowest price. So you can see that you know you can, you can get pretty carried away with this. Now we also have some fundamental uh, indicators here that you can use. You've got beta, you got calendar year high, calendar year low, uh, common shares outstanding, current assets, current liabilities, current year EPS earnings per share, days to next earnings, dividend amount, dividend rate. Dividend yield percent, 52 week high, 52 week low. So, you know, you've got a lot to work with. Institutional ownership percent. So, you can build some pretty sophisticated strategies for those of you that are active traders currently. You should find all the tools that you need and that you're looking for to build some pretty comprehensive strategies. So, you've got your average true range 14. That 14 indicates over the last 14 days. And then we also have the uh, percentages. And we've also got the 30 day average true range. So that would be a period of 30 days. Uh, so you can use that one as well. So I'll just flip through. We've also got Bollinger Bands, Commodity Channel Index, Commodity Channel Index, Exponential Moving Averages. So we've got some uh, MACD is a popular one, moving averages. So I just wanted to flip through these to kind of give you an idea of what you have to work with for some of you traders uh, that, you know, want to build your own strategies. And you've got pivot points, resistance, support, rate of change, a relative strength index. I know it was a popular one with the with a lot of folks, random walk indicator, parabolic SAR, stochastics, you know, all the basic tools that most folks want to see. So, you know, we really keep things simple uh, with our strategies, but there are quite a few traders out there that, uh, you know, really want to utilize, um, you know, some of these, uh, some of these indicators that have been around a long time that, uh, they find pretty reliable so they're they're all here for you if you want to use them you know you just use these variables and just build the rules so you've got dollars percent less than greater than you know you just create the rule and add the rule and that's that's how it works so here we just put some simple rules in applied them to about 8,000 stocks and the robotic trader gave us seven back so those are the ones uh, that we'll focus in on and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do the next video on the open new position rules.